And we are here with head coach for the Fairfield women's soccer team, Jim O'Brien, as part of our coaching spotlight. Coach, how are you today? Very good, thank you. And coach, you know, 261 consecutive minutes so far without allowing a goal. The defense has really stepped up a bit. Yeah, we've uh, we've revamped that uh, that part of the team, um, and of course, Kelly Boudreau is uh, is the uh, is the fortress in front of the goal, and uh, she's made a huge difference. The thing about this team is, you know, last year you had the constant four, basically the same constant four in the back. Now, now it looks like you, you can mix and match a lot. Yeah, it all depends upon matchups. Uh, number one, we have um, we have some players who uh, have have certain technical abilities that that, that help them um, in against certain lineups or certain opponent, opponents. And then we also have some great athletes who can match up against you know other teams' great athletes, which we've seen in the first three games. And Kelly Bajo, three-time Mac you know Mac Player of the Week. Do you think that this could actually be a year that she becomes you know the Mac Defensive Player of the Year? Uh, absolutely. We've always felt that uh, arguably she was, you know, the best goalkeeper in our conference. And uh, we feel that uh, she's really barely scratched the surface in her abilities. What makes her so good? Uh, number one, leadership, uh, the respect of her teammates, her commitment to uh, her overall training, not just her, her technical abilities as a, as a goalkeeper, but also her abilities um, with her feet. When the ball is played back to her, she's a weapon for us uh, on the attack. And then uh, last but not least, she's probably among our top five fittest athletes on the team. And the thing that doesn't get mentioned in the stats is how she can, how a goalie really leads the defense, you know, coming out of the box in order to, you know, mess up the offense. Absolutely. She anticipates very well. So she really basically avoids putting herself into situations where she has to make the spectacular save. However, when called upon, she's able to do it. Now, the, the past two games, the two match unbeaten streak, how does that feel for the team? Um, it's really a good confidence booster for us. We all know that last year was a rough year for us. Um, we, we really uh, had a tough time getting out of the gates and, um, and really could never get any type of rough flow or rhythm um, with the team. And uh, to, go, to go again one, two games giving, without giving up a goal and then to, to, to get two consecutive results on the road was really important. What did you see in those two games that you liked, that, except for the defense, in order for the team to move forward? Um, resiliency. Three straight games on the roll, road against UMass, you know, an Atlantic 10 program, Hofstra, CAA, highly regarded program as well. And then, of course, Boston College and ACC school was, was huge. Uh, three very, very difficult opponents um, on the road was, was a, a real accomplishment for the team. And once again, 19 different players used in the UMass game. And, and, that, and that just goes with what you said in the preseason about how deep this team is, especially with the freshmen. And that's to go with, you know, Shannon Fay, who did, did not play. We were able to keep her out of the game against UMass so we can have her healthy for Friday against Syracuse. And then Jack Lay, um, who's another player who sees consider, considerable mi minutes, is not feeling well. So we were able to also, you know, let her get some rest and, and recover and, and feel better for uh, the homestand this weekend. In order for that deep team with all the freshmen, it really helps bring in fresh legs all the time. Uh, it's, it's a big help, and I think it's really going to pay dividends more so as we get into the, into the MAC uh, conference play. Uh, coming up, you the home opener. Is the team excited for the home opener? I think so, and also against you know, another Big East opponent, uh, top-level team, and um, we feel that we could, uh, we could go in and, and show the fans uh, that we're back as a program. 20th anniversary tournament, can you expl the Invitational, can you explain that a little bit? Uh, yep, the program's celebrating its 20th year uh, as a varsity sport, and uh, what we're doing is we're going to honor our alums, uh, many of whom are going to be come, coming back uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of about uh, 30 of uh, our former players, and, and that's really what it's about. It's, it's going to be an honor uh, to all the players who've helped build the program into what it is today. Now, out of the, now you've been here for... Was it six years? Seven years. Seven years. What how have you seen the pro? How have you seen the program evolve from since then? Well, the program's always been, you know, a top-flight program, not only within the MAC but also, um, you know, nationally. We 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 play we play against a lot of top-level programs, and that's gone on for many many years. But I do think that the program has continued to be successful as women's soccer has developed. Um, it's become much more competitive from top to bottom. The conference, uh, our conference, uh, the MAC in itself, has improved drastically in the seven years that I've been here, and I believe even more so in the, over the overall the history of the program. Now, last one out of those seven years, what would you say is your fit, is your best moment? Um, beating Loyola in the MAC championship game in 2008 with Anna Johnson recording a hat trick. 
Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you.